Okay, so now we're about ready to create the pop-up menu. And as you've seen in the previous video, I've already created the pop-up menu. And it, so in the back end, I already have all the code set up. Because I'm sure you're eager to learn how to create a pop-up menu, I'm going to go straight into collecting the code from Visual Basic. I'm going to go on and, and put that in a Word document. And what I'm going to do here is show you how to put this together for your application. That way you can, you can begin customizing it. And rest assured, I'm going to also place as much of this information as I can in the description. That way you can copy the code and begin customizing it to your application. So I'm going to go on and close this out and we'll start over with a brand new workbook. And the only thing I'm going to add on my workbook here is just a little button. And in this case, I'm going to use a shape to do that. Draw the shape out and I'm going to go on and just make it appear like a button edit text and do menu option and what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go to my developers tab click visual basic and I'm gonna go to it says insert user form but I'm gonna click the down arrow and I'm gonna select module that way we have a brand new module to work with once you have the module created I'm gonna first paste the very basic which are the macros the macros for the message boxes and I'm gonna paste that I'm sure that your macros are gonna be far more complicated th than this these are just little message boxes that come up and just to show you what we've done so far is we, if we have if we go to our macros we have hello world macro macro 2 macro 3 and we can click edit and that just shows us the code for the message box or we can just run it and just to see that it does a little message box so these are the macros that we're going to call in from the pop-up menu. So onto the next portion, let's go to our Visual Basic environment, go to your module, and scroll all the way up to the very, very top. And what you're going to need to do at the very, very top is put your public variable with the public command bar. So I'm going to go on and copy this, put it on the very top, and I'm going to hit enter. Visual Basic is already separating the line. These are all these are our public variables, the menu. The next part that we're going to add is the function. This is the function that actually builds your pop-up menu. And I'm going to go on and, and briefly explain what, what this does. But more importantly, what I'm going to spend more time on is what you need to do to customize it so that it works for your application. So I'm going to copy this. And Visual Basic is already separating it for us. So this is the entire function. And then last but not least is I'm going to put the coding in for the pop-up menu button. I'm actually going to need to create a macro for that. So I'm going to just do sub button clicked. And then this is where I'm going to put set the menu equals create sub menu, the menu, which is this part right here, dot show pop-up. And what I'm going to do is right click this and hit assign macro and I'm gonna select the macro that I created button clicked but now let's go on and go to the code by now if you were to play this in your application it this you know this would work and again I'm going to put this information into the into the description of YouTube that way you can see the coding but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you pretty much the skeleton of it I'm going to make this code right here as non-executable and I do that by doing a single quote as you can tell it, it turns green so the the program won't do anything with this if I hit play right now and I and I, I play this code we're only gonna have one menu come up which is gonna be run macro hello world and so I'm gonna go on and click it and I see on the problem menu we only have that one option we click it and it's functional we get hello world so let me show you what, what we've done here we have the create sub menu and this is going to be a function all we're doing is we're naming a command bar and we're naming a command bar control each time that a user clicks the button this com this function is called and the function is it must create the menu every single time a, a person calls this function so the very first thing that we're going to do is delete any existing command bars that may be present 
So if this is the first time that you're running the Microsoft Excel worksheet, you, it's pretty much going to skip this step. But if this is the second time a user clicks the button or, or the third time, we need to delete any pop-up menus that are currently existing. If we don't do this, the menu, the pop-up menu that we have will continue to get longer and longer and longer. And it'll, you'll just see all the duplicates of run macro hello world or, or whatever command that you have set up on the command bar. So that's all this section does right here that's highlighted. It just deletes any existing menu bars that are that are currently out. This next piece of code is where we actually draw the, the menu bar and we and we you know we, we create it. So we set the command bar, um, command bars dot add and we do pop-up menu name which is the name of the constant that we set for the pop-up menu. The position type menu bar false and temporary is false. If you want a, a more thorough background as to what we're doing when we do command bars dot add and having all of these attributes set, feel free to visit the Microsoft Developer Network article about command bars. But I'm, again, I'm, I'm showing you. I want to spend more time showing you what you need, what you need to do to customize this code. That way, you can fit it into your application. This is the important part, and this is the part that you really want to focus on. Is this next piece? The menu options. This is where you're going to be able to expand on your code and and add more menu options. So we're going to first create the command bar control. We're going to add an item. So we're going to do the command bar dot controls dot add. This is direct. This is pointing to the variable that we created earlier up here. But we're gonna we're gonna add an item, and what you're gonna put here is the command bar control dot caption. This is going to be the text that's going to be on the menu label. So we put run macro hello world. You don't need the ampersand here, but when I have the ampersand here, the R is highlighted. That way, if your user was to press R, the macro is run. But I mean, you're welcome to just leave it without the ampersand, have it run macro hello world. And again, this is just for the caption. Now, you want to assign an action to it because if you don't have an action to it, like I'm going to put this as non-executable code, and we run it and we click it, nothing happens. So we need to assign an action to the command bar control, this specific item. So we're going to put the command bar control on action, run the macro, hello world macro. So if I was to change this to test macro, and if I was to try running it right now, nothing's going to happen. In fact, we may get an error, but here nothing happens because there is no macro called test macro. But if I was to name the hello world macro that's down here to test macro, and now we try running this menu, we're going to call that procedure, that macro. I'm going to hit OK. So going back to the Visual Basic environment, let's say if you want to add a second menu item, all you're going to do is use the same exact code, but of course we're going to change the caption and the action. So it's going to be the same exact detail, set the command bar control equals the command bar dot controls dot add, and then we're going to put the command bar control dot caption equals, and then whatever you want the second the second title to be. In this case, we'll, we'll just write this is just a test. And then the command bar control, you, you would need to assign the macro on action. We're still going to run macro 2, which macro 2 is just going to say, this is just a test. And I'm just going to put it for macro 2. So I'm going to go on and play this code. Pop up menu. This is just a test. Click it. And we get the message box. This is just a test for macro 2. All right. You should be all set up to creating your pop up menu. And again, all you have to do if you want to add more options, just you know, copy this code, copy and paste it, and create multiple lines. And just make sure you change the caption and the macro you want to have it assigned to. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you for watching.